Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. And what I want to do today is introduce you to a couple of new products that are going to release on our website, most likely about Friday of this week. We've been working on these things for quite a while and a lot of people have been asking me about them on social media, when they're coming out, when they're coming out, when they're coming out, now's the time. So the first one, and this one is a co-branded product. This is a 10 inch camp skillet. It is exactly like the eight inch skillet as far as the design features go with the locking handle that folds underneath the skillet. It has a lid that is got a rim around the outside of it so that you can put coals on top of it and use it for a miniature type Dutch oven if you choose to do that. And it has a double bottom on it so that it dissipates heat well. This particular skillet is co-branded with Bayou Classic and has the Pathfinder and the Bayou Classic logo on the skillet. This skillet was developed to be more of a camp type skillet. This is not something you're gonna put in your backpack. This is a camp type skillet. Something for the canoe, something for the ATV, something for the Jeep or the truck, something you're gonna take on a group camp. The second product that we're releasing this week is the new one quart bush pot. This bush pot, again, is almost exactly the same in construction as the two quart and the 120 ounce bush pot we currently stock, except that this one is exactly one quart. It is a solo size bush pot. It's got the same D-ring on the top of the lid, same pour spout, same locking bail, and same large bat wing handles, so you can grab it even if you're wearing gloves off the fire. So one of the first questions I generally get asked is what's gonna be the price of these items? The skillet is $35.99, $35.99 and the bush pot $27.99. All right, so I got my brand new skillet, now what do I do? Food sticks to stainless steel, right? If you're cooking it wrong, it definitely will. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna season this thing up a little bit. So we're gonna put it over some heat and we're gonna put some oil in here. And we're gonna use a high smoke point oil. What I've got here is grapeseed oil and I'm just gonna put enough in here to kind of coat the bottom of the pan really good. I'm not gonna overdo it. Now, we're gonna let that heat up. We're gonna roll that oil around in the pan as it's heating up. And we're gonna let it get till it starts to smoke, but we're not gonna let it burn. And we're just gonna roll it around that pan as we go and coat that stainless steel with that oil. And this is gonna give us an initial seasoning. They cook with stainless steel all over the world in professional restaurants. You can cook in stainless steel without burning food or without food sticking. You just have to understand how to do it. And it starts with making sure that you season this thing up and that you take care of it after you're done cooking with it, just like cast iron. And you really don't have to treat it much different than you do your cast iron. When you're done with cast iron cooking, generally you clean it out with just some clean water and a scrubber if you need it, but nothing really abrasive so that you don't scrub any seasoning off of the cast iron. And then you oil it again before you put it away. We're gonna do the same thing with this when we're done cooking in it. But the first thing we need to do is initial seasoning because while it doesn't have the pores that, stainless, or that uh, cast iron does, there are some pores in stainless steel and you can season it to a certain extent. You are gonna to have to use oil of some kind when cooking in stainless steel for the most part, but you don't have to use a lot of oil. It's not like you gotta carry a ton of oil with you in camp if you're going to camp in stainless steel, or if you're going to cook in stainless steel. You just have to carry a little bit with you depending on what you wanna cook. We're gonna cook a good old egg in here in a few minutes, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to cook an egg in stainless steel without sticking it or burning it. Now, once we've got this oil to the smoke point, we're going to roll it around here again for a minute. We're going to dump out the excess. And then we're going to turn the heat off and let the skillet completely cool down. Now, once that thing's cooled down, we're just going to wipe the excess oil out of it with a cotton rag. And we're going to call that good. Now, this skillet's ready to be cooked in. 
So now let's talk about cooking in this skillet. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to turn our heat back on and we're gonna heat the skillet. And it doesn't have to be a real high heat. It just has to be enough to heat this skillet up good and we'll show you how to test that here in just a minute. And then whatever we're gonna cook in here, we wanna temper the food. We want the food to be room temperature. It's not something you want to take out of a cooler and throw it in here or something out of an ice box and throw it in here. We want it to be room temperature when we start to cook it. So we're going to put an egg over here beside the stove and let it get warmed up a little bit out of the cooler. So we'll take an egg and we'll just set him right there. He's not too much into the heat, but he's in the sun and it's going to heat him up. Now, we don't want this skillet to get too much past the smoke point. What we're going to do is we're going to drop some water in there. And if it dances around in there, you can see it's like little balls dancing on the surface in there. See that? You got little balls of water just dancing around the surface. That's hot enough to cook. We're ready to go. Crack our egg. Drop him in. Let him sit. Now you can see how the edge of that egg is lifting up off the bottom of that pan. That's a really good sign that it's not going to stick. See that? It's almost perfect. We'll let this center and stuff get done a little bit more. And you can see, look at that thing. It's lifting right up off of there. That's exactly what we want. Here we go, look at that. Thing sliding around in there, perfect. Flip that dude over. There we go, look at that. Perfectly cooked egg. Nothing burnt. Got a little on the edge here where I flipped it over. Other than that, no sticking. Now, what do we do here? Okay. Now, while that thing's on the heat, I'm going to put some water in here. That's called glazing the skillet, really. All right? Now, I would just scrub anything in there. Turn off my heat real quick. Take a rag. Scrub the surface of this for any food that might be stuck to it. Just like this. Drop a little oil in there again. Heat him back up. Roll the oil around inside there, just like we did the first time. Get it up to the smoke point, shut her down, wipe it out, be ready to cook in again. Now you can see that kind of bronze look it's getting on the inside now. Now you're starting to build up a seasoning on that stainless steel skillet. And you continue to do that, just like cast iron. And over time, the whole bottom of that skillet is going to be that bronze color. And that thing is going to be perfect. Now... This bush pot is not large enough in diameter to fit an isobutane tank. However, the way I've got mine set up, I have six tins in here for spices, coffee, sugar, creamer, and so on. And that leaves a gap in the center of the pot. So you could also put a seventh one there if you wanted to. And then I've got an isobutane stove that actually will sit right down inside there just like that. And so the only thing I have to carry outside this is the tank. And I have a pretty well self-contained cook kit on the inside. It's 
one quart bush pot is the perfect setup to carry the Pathfinder alcohol stove. And the alcohol stove stand. All right, there you go. Got a good rolling boil there. And those handles are not hot at all. To lift that off the fire. I'm gonna go ahead and set it on top of this since we got a plastic table we're working with here. Alcohol stove still burning bright. I'll just grab that dude off of there. Drop our simmering and snuff it out. Set that on top to cool for a minute. Guys, listen, I appreciate you joining me today out here for a quick look at a couple new products coming to the Suffreliance website on Friday. I'm a little busy right now. This is my busiest time of year. I got classes almost back to back every weekend. Trips I have to do for business in between and then class prep as well. So the videos aren't coming as fast as I'd like them to come. I will give you some information on the ATV video that we shot last. We talked about we we're going to go through the back of the ATV and go camping off the ATV. And we're still going to do that. However, I'm waiting on a bedroll system to get here that is fairly new to the market that I want to test that I think is just an awesome system altogether for a cowboy bedroll type camping scenario. And that's what I like to do the most. So I like sleeping on the ground. I like sleeping on the bedroll. And this thing is a self-contained bedroll. I'll talk to you more about that in a video shortly to come, probably the next couple of weeks or so on that. In the meantime, I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business. All of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video, guys, as soon as I can.